What's up, Hedgehog Maniacs and Doki Flags, as well as all you fruity heads out there? Sonic 17 here, back with more Doki Doki Storm, which is a mod for Doki Doki Ultra Club. It's been about a month since you last saw me play it, but when that time occurred, we got to see the first day of the Literature Club, and from Yuri's perspective. Which is very interesting. And I have noticed that I've been getting comments about my mic situation. I didn't think it was that much of a problem. But I was wrong about that. And I'm sorry. I'm wondering what's going to happen next. Well, at least from Yuri's perspective, anyway. This might be uploaded before Halloween. This, this will probably be uploaded sometime around Halloween. Anyway, time to dive in. And let's do it to it. Remember, this is from Yuri's perspective, so I don't know if my Yuri voice is going to be all that good. That's probably the reason why that you couldn't hear me, but regardless, let's go. I feel a lot better with the following morning. Good enough that I think I bring my purple knife today. Oh, she's bringing another knife, huh? The purple color matches my hair and my eyes. Maybe it'll bring me good luck. I take a moment to admire it, tracing the pattern of little yellow lightning bolts in the hand of my fingers. I entertain myself with the spring loaded blade. It makes an ever so satisfying click sound when I pop it out or retract it. When I'm done playing with it, I put it in my bag and head out. Good mood carries me through the day. I'm still smiling to myself as I enter the club room after school. Sonic X isn't here yet. I see Monica talking to Natsuki in the back of the room. Sonic approaches me. Hey, Yuri! You look so happy today! Sonic's smile looks genuine. Not like the usual man she wears. I feel this is my excitement about my plans for today. Yes, Sayuri. Yes, I feel like quite pleased. You see, I have a gift for Sonny X. Why do I know he's going to love? There's a subtle change in Sayuri's expression. Her genuine smile is replaced by her usual mask. The transition is so smooth. I almost didn't notice it. I wonder how she does it. I feel like I should get, get an acting test from her. Doubt myself yesterday. Is that bad? Is that bad? Oh, no, 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 it's fine. I mean, it's me, it's me, it's you. I'm sure you love it. Somehow, her smile looks even faker than before. My confidence is gone. I, I think I'll go read my book now. I see it open my new copy of Portrait of Marker up in front of me. But I can't focus on the book. All I can think of is how much more difficult is, 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 is this is going to be. Should I just not give Sonny X the book after all? No. Now that I mention it to Sayuri, it might seem weird to not to give it to him. Yeah. Probably best you sh probably best you should, Yuri. It is playing out like the main game after all, except it's from your perspective. Anyway, I will really have to be very careful about how I present it. That's true. Build up to build up to it slowly, so it seems normal. I'm still playing out what 
I'm saying what Sandy X enters the club room. There was that pose again! So like I said, it's playing out like a main game. I'm not annoyed as as much as I would be. But at the same time, I just wish she'd stop doing that though. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder. The manga is the subject in the lore with the situation of Rose's mother, aka the red one. Yeah, listen. I'm still not sure on, on this whole thing. But I think I initially believed it was Monica, but it's not Monica, okay? Yeah, I know, surprisingly. But I'm not gonna say who it is quite yet. But anyway. After Monica greets him, I nervously approach to attempt to start a conversation. Thanks for keeping your promise, Sinex. I hope this isn't too to a well I committed for you. Making you making you dive head first into the literature when you're not accustomed to it. There's Natsuki. Oh, come on! Why do you deserve any slack? Everything I plan to say goes goes out of my head in an instant. Natsuki carries uh be rings carries carries on be rings side the X. I can't even focus on what she's saying, because I'm feeling too frustrated with her. Why does she have to be so rude and immature? I'm trying to say something important here. But that's my favorite Doki, Yuri. It can't be helped. I can't even avoid her like I usually do. All I can do is wait for her to finish. Margaret is literature! <laughs> this is true, by the way. I guess she's done. I guess she's done now. I've never been as infuriated by Natsuki's love of manga as in this moment. It makes me dread our, our upcoming home show more than I already did. But I try to put that out from my mind since the conversation is continuing. Sayuri, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> and they had adventures together. For some reason, I feel the return of that hopeful thought I had yesterday. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Fancy. Too good to be true. I have never seriously considered that as an option. But I find myself imagining again. Having a friend for the first time. And not just any friend. Sunny X. Someone who likes horror books and who cooks and cleans. <clears throat> oh boy. Sorry, it may sound like a big deal when it really, 
but it's really not. Oh boy. Oh, there's, there's that rap, there's that heart being again. My anxiety is climbing rapidly. Should I forget about giving him the book? The gift? Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. You think? <laughs> then again, since when do you think, Sayuri? You may be the bun, but sometimes you can jump the gun on things. But anyway. Sonyx gazes at me with a kind, gentle expression. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. It won't be a big deal. It will be okay. It will be normal. That reassures me a bit, but my anxiety is still quite high. All right. Well, here. I pulled my old ba battled copy of Project of Marker from my bag. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know. Oh boy. The little bit of confidence I have falters, but I have to finish that sentence. Discuss it, if you want it. The storm is rising. He's probably going to hate me. He's, go he's probably going to hate me like everyone else does. This might be the moment that he decides that he never wants to do anything to do with me again. I'm playing with my hair again. I should stop. He's looking at me. Yuri, calm down. Sheesh. I can't even look at him as I handle the book. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. She calms down just like that. Man. You know, now that I think about it, I'm just wondering how it would have been if we got, actually got to see everybody's perspective when it came to WW Ledger Club. Not just MC, but, but all the Dokis, if it was done by Team Savado and everything. I'm just wondering what would have happened. Just saying. Anyway, he takes the book with enthusiasm. He actually looks happy. My heart swells in relief and watches and relief washes over me. I feel like I could cry tears of happiness right now. You well, you can be at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. I think now's a good time to escape before the storm can strike again. I turned to my desk and I allowed myself to get lost in my book. Or at least, as lost as I can get. <laughs> Sometimes you even wonder. Having this moment to myself does help my mental state, but my mind keeps tripping back to Sonny X. That might have been my only opportunity to have a real conversation with him. Should I try to continue talking to him? No, definitely not. I was too far at having it to try. In this mental state, I typically start fantasizing about things to do with my knives and I know it's not it's not healthy to let my mind go there. Once again I find myself in, in, in worriedly cursing myself for being like this. It's been like it's been my lifelong dream to just be normal. But right now, I think I would just I would Settle for just a few minutes of normalcy with Sonny X. Time passes. I'm so preoccupied with all of this that I'm not making any headway with my book. I glance around the room, not to use any class on a manga, as usual. Manga and Sonny are having a quiet conversation together. Sonny X. Sonny X is standing at the front of the room, by himself. He isn't doing anything. He even joined in the conversation with his friend, Sayuri. He's so shy. 
Some part of me thinks that maybe, out of all the people I've ever known, he could be someone I could talk to comfortably. Do I dare try? That terrifies me. Still, I find myself trying to work up the courage to say something. Uh... My voice barely comes out as a croak, but it gets his attention. Our eyes meet. I freeze. My voice completely dies in my throat. Panic overtakes me. I raise my butt to hide my face behind it. Ah! I'm messing this up! I'm so stupid! Why can't I do a simple thing like say a few words? Sorry. I was just spacing out. He actually came over to talk to me. Oh. It's fine. He said he was, he said he was spacing out. Maybe he liked the way I do. I smile and really at the thought. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. Well, I'm just rereading this a, a bit of this, so... That's the book it gave me, right? Mm -hmm. It suddenly occurs to me that it was foolish to bring both copies of, this, of the book. It makes it more obvious that I purchased the book just for him. Why did I think of that sooner? I wanted to reread some of it. Not for my... Not for any particular reason. Just curious. How could we have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. No, why did I say that? Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, uh, I see. I ruined it. It had to be obvious what I did now. It's gonna give me a. He's giving me a strange, calculating look. Probably trying to think of an excuse to leave. I'll definitely start reading it soon. Maybe, maybe I can still salvage some portion, small portion of this. Of this. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a fairly engaging, relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? He's not needed? Well, hmm. I close the book and pretend to look over the blow at the back. Obviously, I already know the answer to his question without looking, but I need this moment to try to calm myself. Alright. I just want to make sure that I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is a danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... He trails off. He seems uncertain what to say. I remember that he did say he's only ever that he's only ever read hor one horror book before. So maybe he's uh, he's unused to talking about it as I am. I can't help giggling at how much we seem to have in common. Are you not a fan of this story, of things, Sonny X? No, it's not that. I I mean, I can definitely get enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. It's just that these kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals, or their own philosophy, that they believe in. Kinda reminds me of the whole thing... ...with Rose. Banana, mini lemon. I could go on about that, but that's kind of where, what this, but this is what it reminds me of right now. Anyway, but suddenly, when you don't even relate to the protagonist, they may not to be the naive one for letting the one side morals interfere with the villain's plans. I think I see his eyes gazing over. 
I'm... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I guess it's alright, then. He's so patient, and kind, and understanding. Maybe you'll be forgiven of some of my usual traits. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking it too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a larger club, after all. Uh... That's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading, right? Huh? Right now? You don't have to. <laughs> What are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. It takes, it takes the old copy of the book out of his bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? Without waiting for my answer, he sits down in the seat right to the right of mine. Feelings of apprehension skyrocket. What's happening? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. This is that is bringing a company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. There's no possible way I would be able to focus on my book with him sitting so close to me. Alright. He opens his book in front of him, and I do the same with mine. We sit like that for a time. I can't help but look over his, at his copy, at my copy of the book. My own copy of the book. Sorry. I still feel bad that I gave it up. I hope he treats it well. I wonder if, I, if he would be open to training them. But that might sound like a weird thing to ask. I don't dare bring it up. Suddenly, he glances over at me and our eyes meet. Ah, uh, he saw that I was staring at him. Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do? I don't mean me to. Sorry, I mean... S stupid, stupid, stupid! Uh, he's laughing at me? Here, this should work, right? It's up. That's it, I finally scared him away. No? He moves his desk and chair closer until, until they're touching mine and, and then sits back down. He then places his cold copy of the book between us. My heart feels like it's in my throat. It's beating so hard. Uh, I suppose so. I guess we're both going to be reading from his copy then. With shaking hands, I close my new book and put it away. Uh, I guess that makes it a little difficult to turn the page. Here. Normally, when that, when that, after Yui says here, it would go to a CG shot with M from MC's perspective and reading it with Yuri. That's what normally would happen, but since this is from Yuri's perspective, there's no CG at this point. But anyway. I take a seat to I take the left side of the book in my left hand. He does the same with the right side in his right hand. We start reading together like this. The files are so are, are so close together. No one was touching. This is very surreal for me on many levels. I've never read with someone before. I've never been so close to someone before. 
Something about the fact that we're reading from my old copy of the my old copy of the book makes me feel like I'm sharing an old friend with him. Is it by far the most intimacy I've ever experienced with another human being? It's kind of exhilarating. It's an exhilarating feeling. It makes it hard to focus on the book. Not that. Not that matters. Not that if that mat. Not if that matters. Since I'm already the whole. Since I already know the whole book by heart, more or less. But I should probably at least make a show of pretending to read it. Are you ready? Eh? Let's turn the page? Uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Her eyes meet again. He looks nervous? Or am I just pro projecting my own feelings onto him? Is he scared about what I'm, what he's, what's going to happen in the book? I wonder if his heart is being as fast as mine. Uh, that's okay. You're not, you're not as, you're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I could do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. Time passes. I still can't focus on reading. I stop trying to speak. I just let him turn the page whenever he's ready. Each time he turns the page, he brings it over to my side so I can hold it with my hand. I spend a, I spend a time reading, reading his hand. What? Uh, sorry. I spend a time watching his hand, watching the delicate movements of his fingers over the page. There's something said to about that about it. It's strangely common, mesmerizing even. My heart rate slows, and I'm about to relax and enjoy my time with him. Somehow, I never quite touched his hand, hand when he turns the page. I wonder what it would be like to touch him. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Harley picks up again. I have to remind myself that we're still on chapter one, and we haven't gone into the darker parts of our story yet. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all the things she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can say it's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they kind of resemblance to some of your mannerisms. I see. I can see with this. It's true that I, I identify with her. In fact, so, sometimes for fun, I write short stories from her perspective. But this sounds like he's making me blundering and foolish. He he must really dislike me after all. It's not th it's not like that, Yuri. Okay, calm down. I thought we were having a good time. The best time I've ever had. I should have known that he wasn't enjoying it. I feel ashamed and guilty to have gotten so much enjoyment of his, at his expense. I feel myself spiraling into despair. He's not going to want to read with me like this, is he? But Sonny X, that's probably... A terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, it's so embarrassing that you think that. I shouldn't be saying this. I know I should. I just, I'm just making things worse. Wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry. I really didn't know you were subconscious about that sort of thing. I guess I'm, I'm I guess I'm more mad that it's kind of cute. Cute? That makes no sense. I'm not cute. Nothing about me is cute. Uh, why you say all? Why you say all of a sudden? I leave it to Monica to surprise everybody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, everyone. Uh.
I think it's about time we share today's pause for each other. We may not have enough we may not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh Is that a red unit? Look guy down. I'm sorry if you're gonna be looking forward to this. I have it, but that's not the reason I'm, I'm feeling down. Uh, it's not. It's fine. <laughs> Man. I almost put the book into my bag, but then I remembered that it belongs to Sign X now. I let go of it. I'm able to look at it. Alright. Uh, Alright. Sorry. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer uh, I only read it with you? Um... I think it would be... I think I would like to read with him every day forever. I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm... In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'd be more fun to read with you after it picks up... Pick, after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright! I watch him I watch him put the book inside into his bag. I'm very confused right now. It sounds like he wants to read with me again. Is it because he feels bad for me? Is he doing it out of pity? But no! He said reading it with me would be fun. Does that mean he enjoyed it? I can't imagine that he enjoyed it as much as I did. Could I be overthinking this? I don't know how to stop thinking. I wish I did. Maybe I really should be. Maybe I really should be taking what he says at face value. But, but, but that that would suggest that he thinks I'm cute. How undickable! stop here hedgehog maniacs I know it was kind of a little short from kind of short from some of the mods but I don't, it, it was a good it was good and all but I'm not feeling right right now so do a little bit of this at a time. But you know, you know what I'm trying to say, right? But this mod is really picking up. Don't get me wrong. It is getting good. But for now, Sonic 17 signing out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think down below. If you want to see more of my content, subscribe to me so you check out the rest of my content and you also check out the videos you see here on the screen. I told you to stop doing that, Monica!